Welcome back to the channel, everyone. And today we're gonna be doing the modular series in the tier list adventure that we're going through. We're doing every series of nerf, so I think it's only fitting to go with modulus, another one that is discontinued. It's sad because all these things that I've been doing, like Elite, Zombie Strike, End Strike, Rival, and Modulus, well, maybe not Rival, all of them are dead, which kind of sucks. Rival is sort of, it still has some stuff coming out, but the past three years stuff hasn't been that great. Apart from like the Pathfinder, there's nothing that great that came out. Like, even stuff like the Forerunner isn't that good. Anyways, that's not what we are here for. What we are here for is Modulus. And there isn't a lot of Modulus Blasters, as you can tell. But we'll try to we'll try to rank it. Okay. So I just realized there's a few that aren't here that are like stock attachments and like barrel attachments. I guess those won't count. I don't know. They'd all be like D or C because they aren't that good. Okay, the regular modulus blaster. It's kind of like an unnecessary strife. It's cool that it comes with a lot of attachments. Um, the scope is a nice attachment. Same with the foregrip and barrel. The stock is an awful stock. And there's no reason to use this because the strife is just better. Um, because the barrel length is much closer and also... It doesn't have a stupid handle above that sort of ruins the whole idea of a scope. I don't know, it's it's not my cup of tea. Battle Scout. Now this would be good. This would be good. Uh, but it's a failure. It would be good if um, it included some actual good attachments. Not one that adds 20 extra dollars to the package. And I'm talking about the camera. The camera is awful. Also, this thing shoots, like, 20 FPS, which is horrible, by the way. Um, yeah, I think if you're gonna buy a Battle Scout, buy the camo version, because it actually does shoot pretty well. And it doesn't come with a camera, it comes with a stock that is really nice and comfortable. So buy the camo version, it's much better. Although, you might not want to buy it because it's a clip system blaster. And if you know anything about clips, you know that unlike a magazine, clips are impossible to reload quickly. So, yeah, don't 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 use the Battle Scout unless it's the camo version. Regulator, okay, I think there's a few downsides to the regulator. I might move it to S tier in a bit. You know what? I'll move it to S tier. It has a good selector switch. Let's go over the one con I have with it. The one con I have is that the mag release is um, at the trigger spot, which I think is okay, but I can understand why it's a problem, because when you go to get the magazine, you want it to be like the Strife, where you sort of, it's on the back side of the magazine, like back side of the uh, magazine slot, so you just press that down and pull the magazine out. That's the ideal um, thing that, uh, ejects the magazine. That's the ideal thing. However, apart from that, I really like the regulator. Oh my, the ion fire. Ion fire, I'm putting it in D tier for now. It might go into F tier if there's another D tier on this list, but for now, it's better than the Battle Scout. Okay, the Modulus Demolisher or Ultimate Customizer Pack. I'll just say Ultimate Customizer Pack. This is a tier for now unless i i might move it up here okay it has a stock that hasn't well it's probably the most innovative stock that has ever existed it has similar to real sniper stocks it has stuff that you can adjust which is really cool i love that it has a magazine holder it has a flashlight that's kind of boring same with the site that's kind of boring it has rocket holders which is really cool and it has um in extra extended uh what's it called tactical rail a tactical rail that you put on to another one that holds three extra that's awesome and it has a barrel that has a uh, tactical rail on the side now at the time that was pretty innovative but now we got 
Elite 2.0 that has tactical rails pretty much everywhere. So it kind of demolished this whole series, but you know what? I love this one, so I'm going to put it at the back of this spot. Because, again, the rocket portion of the demolisher is kind of clunky. Unless you really like rockets, then sure, but it's kind of clunky. But apart from that, it's really good. Okay, Mediator. Now, I assume, because I don't see the other attachments, that the Mediator attachments are with it. So, because of that, it's A tier. I like the Mediator a lot. This is just way better attachments than the regular Modulus. However, it still is the same Modulus, but it has... they they. This is the updated Modulus. They fixed the stock by adding the regulator stock. They fixed the scope, even though I like the original one. They added a way better scope to it. And the barrel looks so clean because it's like a suppressor barrel. And, uh, yeah, they got rid of the foregrip. I mean, I never complain. I like I like the foregrip, but I'm okay with it gone. I think it is solid and a lot better and much cooler looking. Ghost Ops Evader. Now, I'm going to put it in the same tier as the Modulus ECS-10 because I like both of them. And I think they're they're pretty changeable. I, I think you could change it. You could change it. It all depends if you like side magazines or um, just magazines coming out of the bottom. It all depends. Okay, the uh, long strike. Now, being real, the long strike should be right here. I, I love the long strike, but I'm putting it in C tier. It, it is updated. It is updated. But you'd only buy it for it. Uh, aesthetic purposes, but it is a lot more expensive too because it, it's the Amazon exclusive one. So uh, I'm gonna leave it in C tier. Modulus Strife, it's so much more comfortable than the Modulus. I'm gonna say it's right here. I love the I love the Strife. Okay, Recon Mark Two, and also I guess Mark Three, because Mark Three exists and it's the exact same blaster. I don't like it um, as much as some other people do. I'm going to put it at the back of B tier. I still think it's pretty good. Okay, the Tri-Strike. Tri-Strike is pretty cool. It's basically the Mediator. I'm putting it here. I like the Core Blaster. I don't think the attachments are as good, but they're still a lot of fun to use. Okay, Ghost Ops, whatever this is called. This is a Magnus. Um... That is kind of pointless to use. I don't see a reason to use this. I'm putting it at the back of C tier. Anyways, that is the tier list. This is a much shorter video because there's a lot less modulus blasters. But, what can you do? Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for almost 900 subs. Almost 900. 8 more subs away from 900. Once we hit that, that's going to be awesome. And I'm going to be close to a thousand. So I can't thank you any more than that. Oh, it's insane. But yeah, thank you so much for that many subs. Anyways, yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you uh, all later. Peace out.